and, and at the same time to have a, uh, a lieutenant colonel, uh, Venman, show up to testify uh, that he had a superior uh, uh, opinion and judgment of national security than does President Trump. I mean, I, I'd like to just share this, uh, this statement today because it's just it's mind boggling, frankly, uh, what this fellow said. Uh, this is the first full screen uh, from his testimony. In the spring of 2019, I became aware of outside influencers promoting a false narrative of Ukraine inconsistent with the consensus views of the intra-agency. It sounds like a Death Star, doesn't it? This narrative was harmful to U.S. government policy, he went on. While my intra-agency colleagues and I were becoming increasingly optimistic on Ukraine's prospects, this alternative narrative undermined U.S. government efforts to expand cooperation with Ukraine. That is one of the most arrogant and, I think, chilling, because what you are seeing and hearing there uh, is a reference to the deep state, uh, to the permanent bureaucracy, and a lieutenant colonel, and who one, obviously believes he has a superior judgment to the president of the United States. One of 8,793 lieutenant colonels in the Army. Wow. He's assigned to the White House not to be the Ukraine expert. He's a clerk. He's not the, the, the State Department and the, and the Defense Department basically run the policy at the president's direction. You don't have to read very far into the Constitution to see where the president conducts foreign affairs. This guy's responsibility is to service the president by pulling the papers together or doing whatever he has to do, but he doesn't make policy. And for him to say, make a judgment on national security, I think national security is at jeopardy, and he values his own judgment over the president's judgment, and, and, and it's just ridiculous. And to me, of all the stuff I've heard, this is the most... In the White House, there's thousands of people. I've worked in two White Houses. They drive you in cars, they cook your meals, they put up this phone system. They have to have confidentiality. If you don't trust the guy in the car when you're talking on the phone to a congressman or what have you, that he's going to go leak what, what he said, you lose all credibility and you lose all ability to come to government. What I would do if I was this president tonight, or I'd have the chief of staff, this guy's box would be in the parking lot of the Pentagon and they can do with him whatever they want, but he's out of the White House. Yeah, and he offered to continue to serve the nation, as he put it. Well, he can serve wherever they want to send him. And he said he's a, basically a devout believer in the chain of command, except when it comes to the... Uh, except the president, the commander-in-chief. Commander uh, extraordinary. Uh, Romney says 